Good day, everyone. I hope you're doing great. So what I'm about to discuss will touch the premise of graphs. But our main focus is how to deal with a complicated graph of a Russian function. So by unlocking its premise. Say for example, we are asked to find the graph of a function 1 over x. Let's see how this goes. So first things first, we prepare our table, also known as the coordinates. So for this example, I chose these numbers. Then we plot those numbers on a Cartesian plate. So let's see. Okay, now the question we need to answer is R. Do our coordinates will be enough to finish the graph? And the number two, will the graph crosses the x or y axis? Okay, so this topic will, will answer those questions, but also aids to comprehend the nature of the graph of the rational function. This particular term will be our main discussion for this lesson, asymptotes. Okay, before we proceed, so let's have first our objectives. Number one, recall the meaning of asymptote. B, identify the asymptotes of a rational function, and solve for the asymptote of a rational function. Now let's define the term. An asymptote is an imaginary line to which a graph gets closer and closer as the x or y increases or decreases its value without limit. So the asymptotes will also serve as the limit of a function or in layman's term, boundaries. Meron tayong sikat na sikat na mean that we always associated with the term asymptotes. And it went like this. Pilit kayong pinaglalapit, so valid hindi kayo pinagtagpo. Okay, so no more joke anymore. Back to our topic. How do we find these asymptotes? So the first asymptote is the vertical asymptotes. To find the vertical asymptotes, equate the denominator to zero and solve for x. Second asymptote is the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is determined by comparing the degrees of the numerator and the denominator, n of x and d of x. So for the first one, if n is less than d, the graph of f has the line y is equal to zero as our horizontal asymptote. Letter b, if n is equal to d, the graph of f has the line y is equal to a over b as the horizontal asymptote, where a and b are the leading coefficient of the numerator and the denominator respectively. Let us see, if n is greater than d, the graph of f has no horizontal asymptote. And then the last one, oblique or slant asymptotes. Oblique asymptotes occurs when the numerator of f of x or function has a degree that is one higher than the degree of the denominator. If you have the situation, simply divide the numerator by the denominator by either using long division or synthetic division. So let's start with our first example. Example number one, find vertical asymptotes from each function. So 3 over x squared minus 9. So we let the denominator to 0. x squared minus 9 equals 0. And then by applying the equality, property of equality, we have x squared equals 9. And then multiply both sides by the square root. So we have x is equal to positive and negative 3. Now on our graph, we're just simply locate that on our x-axis, positive and negative 3. And that would be our vertical asymptotes. Okay, so just to clarify, this is not yet our graph. This is just simply the asymptote. Number two, x minus 5 over x squared minus 2x minus 15. So first, what we did was we factor the, we write the trinomial in factor form. So we have x plus 3 times x minus 5. Now, so we can see we have a common term, x minus 5 divided by x minus 5. That gives us 1 over x plus 3. So therefore, our vertical asymptote is negative 3. So on our, that's the vertical asymptote. And then example, letter B, 
find the horizontal asymptotes from each function. Function number one, we have x over 9x squared minus 1. So in finding the horizontal asymptotes, remember by comparing the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. So this time around, the degrees of the numerator and the denominator is n less than d. So therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, or simply the x-axis is our horizontal asymptote. Number 2, 7 minus 3x over 2x plus 1. So from here, by comparing the degree of the numerator and the denominator, they are just simply equal or simply the same. So the degree of the numerator and the denominator is just simply equal. We take the coefficient of those two numbers. So we have negative 3 and 2. So that is our horizontal asymptotes, negative 3 halves. And then lastly, f of x is equal to 4x to the fourth minus 1 all over 1 plus x squared. So by comparing again the degree of the numerator and the denominator, that is n greater than d. So if this happens, therefore, we have no horizontal asymptotes. Now let's proceed with the last example. Find the asymptote from its function. So f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 all over x minus 2. Now, by just simply comparing the degree of the numerator and the denominator, this is n greater than d. But if we are going to take a look and then observe more, we see that the degree of the numerator is 1 higher greater than the degree of the denominator. So this time around, we're going to simply divide our uh, numerator by our denominator. So this is x minus 2 divided by uh, 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 2. And here is our computation. And so the final answer is the quantity 2x plus 1 plus 1 all over x minus 2. And then we will just simply neglect the remainders there. And then for the other method using synthetic division, so this is how we write it in our synthetic division. So 2 minus uh, 2, negative 3, and negative, negative 1 divided by 2. And so with that, by continuing, we will just simply get the same answer. So our answer, or the oblique asymptotes, is simply 2x plus 1. And then, of course, we will not forget our vertical asymptote, which is also x equals 2. Okay, since the asymptote is a line, it's given by the function y is equal to 2x plus 1. The easiest method to use is by finding the x and y intercept. So you already know how to use that. So let's have this answer. So we plot first our vertical asymptote, which is x equals 2. So by continuing the solution, we have found that x is equal to negative 1 half. That's the first coordinate we have. Okay, negative 1 half. And it's right there on our graph. So y-intercept, we let x to 0. So y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1. So y is equal to 1. And that is our point. And then we simply connect the two points, and then we now have the line. And these are our uh, asymptotes, the vertical and then the horizontal asymptote. y is equal to x. So I give a few numbers to practice. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to answer the question. Okay, for, so for answer number one, the vertical asymptote is x equals 3. For the horizontal asymptote, we have none. Slant asymptote, we have y is equal to x plus 1. For number two, vertical asymptote is 1 half and negative 4. Horizontal asymptote, we have y is equal to 3 over 4. For the slant asymptote, we have none. For the vertical asymptote, we have x equals 2 and negative 2. For the horizontal asymptote, we have none. So the slant asymptote or oblique asymptote, we have y is equal to 3x. And then finally, for number 4, the vertical asymptote, we have none. So for the horizontal asymptote, we have 0, y is equal to 0. And then our slant asymptote, we also have none. Okay, so that's all for our discussion for today. Always, this is your channel, Free Promote, saying stay safe and healthy.